Taurus, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we're gonna pull some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing, money or love, but tomato, tomato, it's all the same, it's energy, baby. So if there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're gonna be pulling a final message from your angels. You know what we see straight off the bat? First of all, amazing things are showing up for you. Some sense of adventure, new beginning, just doing things differently. You could be moving careers, a new location. Just this feeling of change and excitement is upon you. And so the universe is saying to you, all you have to do, beautiful soul, is be in that receival mode. So be in the openness to receiving. In other words, being guided by your impulses. And as a matter of fact, that's gonna be your affirmation for the day. Write this down to create it in your awareness. My impulses guide me. My impulses guide me. My impulses guide me. My impulses guide me. Never forget this. Because so often, when we are disconnected and separated from our true self, from our higher self, from clarity, then what happens is we go straight into the thinking mind. We overthink. We analytically, logically try to put the pieces together to create the end result. But it just doesn't work like that, right? Realistically, it's much more fun, easier, and more natural for us empaths to feel what works for us and what doesn't, right? So being more of the observer of our life energetically wise, energetically wise, feeling when something feels 100% hell yes, puzzle pieces together aligned with where we wanna go from where we are. That means that you wanna reflect in your future and you do not wanna live in the present moment. The present moment is what is, it's gum that's already been chewed, it's over, it's done. You can't change the present by living in it and trying to fix it, focusing on it. I want my relationship better, I want more money, I want my body to change. These things won't change by focusing on the present. What you do have power over though is focusing your thoughts deliberately into what you want your life to feel like, look like, be like. And that's what it is to reconnect to your higher self and realign yourself with your truth, right? So when you are in this game of life, your only obligation and your only purpose, your true purpose, okay? Your true purpose of living here in this lifetime, okay? It's not your job, it's not your money, it's not your family, it is being able to read your energy in the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra entirely so that you are able to follow the impulses that guide you forward from the guidance of your higher self, your guides and angels, leading you into your future self that you admire and are inspired by and are empowered by. That's it. So what you can do is this exercise that I find works really well, and that is sit in a meditation and feel, and, and, and feel out what your future self looks like, feels like, the lifestyle, uh, what, who you feel empowered by, who inspires you, right? Like your dream self, your perfect self, your just your ideal self. Feel what that feels like, okay? Feel that out. And then what you wanna do is you want to connect to your today's choices and what choices leave you feeling empowered that connect to that future self. Think of it like this. If your future self looks back and is like, why didn't you brush your teeth more or take care of your skin? You know what I mean? Your, you know, your future self would be really grateful if you took care of yourself today so that in your future, you would feel empowered and inspired as you aged gracefully or as you took care of yourself, right? Something along those lines to put it simply, right? That's gonna be what realigns you and reconnects you. And that's all you have to think about. And that's all you have to focus on. Because if you are observing how energy feels for you, you're able to overcome any obstacle because you're not focused on the problem itself, you're focused on where you're going. It's like if I went into my local store and I couldn't find any skincare, I couldn't find any proper skincare. And I thought, oh my gosh, how am I gonna take care of my skin? This isn't gonna work, oh no. But if I, in the long term run, I'm focusing on future and I'm like, well, I always take care of my skin. I'm currently in a situation where I'm not uh, finding any skincare. It'll come, 
It'll come, the universe will bring it. The universe will bring it forward when the time is right. I'll align with it. I love my skin and I appreciate, uh, you know, taking care of it. So clearly, you know, it's not here, but I will find it. Something along those lines where there's no attachment to outcome. It's, I'm focusing on the outcome, the higher outcome or the higher resolution or the better scenario than what is. And that's how we keep our frequency raised and that's how we evolve. That's how we stay above the rest. That's how we are always looking at our lives from a eagle's eye view, if you will, because we're seeing the outcome. We're not living in the present. So you are naturally, naturally a very successful, abundant being, money, love, relationships, service. This is your natural state, beautiful soul. You are an earth angel. So you are literally here on earth as an angel. So if there's something in your current decision-making that leaves you feeling disempowered and not like that, that's what we want you to take a look at and ask yourself, does this choice align me with my true self? Because every decision leads to a result. And so if it doesn't, it's not a decision that leaves you feeling empowered or inspired by yourself, it's not going to be the result of your life that you're going to connect with. As a matter of fact, you're going to feel this egoness within yourself, which is going to really unalign you from your truth because ego is the protective personality that we have accumulated because we are trying to avoid what we know we want to do for ourselves. So we ask you now to ground yourself by taking more walks in nature because nature will ground you being around the mountains, the trees, the water, and really prioritizing what you consume and what you put into your energy, what you put into your body, your physical body, your physical body is a portal and it is a channel is an antenna. So if you are unable to read your joy and your inspiration and the energy that's guiding you in this region, good luck because you're just going to go straight into your thinking mind and analytically, logically try to figure out your life. And you're only going to get so far. You're going to, you could build an empire and guess what? It's all going to crash and burn because you're going to be analytically trying to figure out then how to make it better or how to not lose it. Right? Cause once we get something, then it's like, Oh, well, how do I not lose this? So no matter what, there's still an attachment to outcome unless we learn to work with our energy. So no matter what, you may get a relationship, you may have be successful, right? It's only going to go so far before it crashes and burns. That's why we say to you now, learn to read your energy, learn to be present in the moment. And the best thing you can give to yourself is purity, right? It's purity, purity within the energy body, cleansing your frequency with exercise and eating clean foods and grounding yourself in nature, getting enough hydration, empowering your, yourself by the meals that you make. Oh my gosh, so many marketing nonsense scams, right? Oh, hundred calories here. It's keto. Oh, it's plant-based. If you read the calories and the ingredients of some of the back of those, first of all, it's in a package. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. Anything in a package, you just know it was produced in a factory. What kind of weirdness is that? We're eating, we're consuming something from a factory. Does that even make sense? Like your primal self, does that even make sense to you? Right? So at the end of the day, just, you already know this. We're just reminding you, right? But, but that wisdom that we know, that's going to get us to where we want to go. Sometimes we like write it off. Oh yeah, I know I got to eat healthy, but Hey, well that, that choice, that decision, that's going to be the de deciding factor of how far you evolve in life of how much abundance you let in. That's the thing. Because when we make those choices that we know we're supposed to make, but we don't do it. Or when we make those choices, we should say that we are, we know we're not supposed to make. That's when we're basically saying, closing up the doors to receiving the most amount of abundance as we can. And that's why we say to you, have play in the energy realms of your future self, of your ideal outcome, of your ideal life, how it looks like your career, your body, your, your, the things you own, your relationships. How does it feel to be in your ideal, uh, uh, best case scenario outcome? Okay. And then be attuned to that energy of that feeling and then be present in your today. Now, what choice feels the same way in this part of your body? And then what impulse do you have that guides you there? It's going to have something to do with uh, watching the foods you eat, with eating, making healthier choices. And it's going to have something to do with going for a walk. So you might get an impulse to go for a walk. You might get an impulse to create a healthy, healthier meal. Follow that. Follow that beautiful soul because it will always guide you to the outcome of your desires. It will keep you in the receival mode, leading you to a time of adventure, excitement, and growth. And we know that's what you're looking for and it's coming in for you. So whenever we don't make a choice that we know we want to make internally, we really want to make it, but we're not doing it. We kind of talk ourselves out of it or we almost speak limiting or fear-based around it. 
we end up producing shame within our physical bodies. And then we overcompensate by, de by de determination, efforting and forcing because we want to heal that feeling of shame. And we think by overdoing it in other ways is going to do that. But shame in the body can only be healed through appreciation and forgiveness. And so when we appreciate and we forgive who we are, where we are, those around us, our current circumstances, appreciate and forgive if you're not where you want to be financially. Appreciate and forgive if you're not where you want to be in your relationship. Appreciate and forgive your body and for not treating it the way that you know you want to treat it. Forgive yourself because you're only doing the best that you have the ability to do. But you know now that within yourself, that impulse that guides you, that's going to be your way out. That's going to be the height, the next level. That's going to be your moment of upgrade. And that's going to be what, what brings you more and generates more for yourself. Seek out the feeling of empowerment. Anytime you make a choice that empowers you, understand that that choice is what, what creates more connection and alignment with where you want to go, abundance you want to receive. Because the feeling of empowerment and joy, that's true alignment with who you really are. That's who you really are. So make those choices for yourself. Seek out what those are for you. It's a really fun game when we start to seek out empowerment and joy as opposed to focusing on the fear and the lack of life. Now, your angel message for today is innocence. And they are saying to you, beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shrewd your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. We put ourselves in this cage of, of not worthy, of not enoughs, right? I was noticing it just the other day. And I'll give you an example of what happened in my life because it's such simple things. So for instance, I had this love-hate relationship with espresso. I actually love it. So we want you to, my, how I explain espresso, think of your situation, money, love, body, whatever it is, right? So my relationship with espresso is, I love you, it's not working, we're not understanding one another, I'm dehydrated, I overconsume. I really want you, but, 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 but I feel like I have to have you in the morning, but I need, I wanna, I wanna enjoy you when I wanna enjoy you, and I feel like I have no, no control, right? These are like the conversations I'd have, like these limiting beliefs. And it would not sound like that, it would honestly be like, I'm dehydrated, I know I shouldn't drink this, I know I gotta give up caffeine, I don't know why I'm not doing it, it's clearly the right decision, but I'm not doing it because it wasn't aligned with what I really want. I love espresso, I'll be honest with you, I really see no reason to give it up. It does nothing, but I love it, right? So when you love something, you have to speak in a way of appreciation. So I realized that my limiting beliefs and my negative self chatter around this thing that I thought I should be not doing was literally producing shame within myself because I was telling myself basically that you're doing something that you think you shouldn't be doing. Well, yeah, of course that's gonna produce shame. What, I'm doing something that I think I shouldn't be doing and I'm not stopping it? Whoa, right? And that's gonna accumulate over time, right? So again, it come, boils down to things we eat, things we do, things we say. I'm doing this thing that I think I shouldn't be doing. <sighs> shame, blame, guilt, right? And so then we hold that in our energy bodies and then we overcompensate in other areas of life to try to rid that feeling. Well, if I work really hard, if I do this thing, I'll get rid of it. But what we're saying basically is let me fix this feeling, which only emphasizes the exact result we're not looking for. Because whether we focus on it good or bad, we're still focusing on that thing. So the name of the game is to transcend our energy, raise our frequency, and then we will have clarity. And forgiveness and appreciation will be that energy cord cutting. Because anytime you think and focus on something, you're, you've accumulated an energy cord. So in order to cut it, so what I started doing was I started, first of all, I forgave myself for brainwashing myself with these limits so that I would release that shame because, you know, it's, it's all good. There's, nothing's really a big deal here. It's only what we make it, right? Forgive myself. And, and I appreciate the espresso because I love espresso. I love you, espresso. Just like... I love all my you know, ex-relationships. I love all of the adversity I faced. I love my family for behaving the ways that they did. I love everything and I'm so appreciative of it because if it wasn't for those experiences, I wouldn't have the clarity and the insight and be the person that I am today. So you see, we wanna learn from our, our experiences, but we can only learn in a state of appreciation and forgiveness. And that's why we say, really watch the way that you speak about things, about people, about 
things you consume, things you do. And if you really love it, like money, but every time you look at money and you're like, I don't have enough, I can't afford this, forget about it. We're like, we send out this hate towards money. You're gonna push money away, right? Just as I was uh, pushing espresso away, I was attracting the exact outcome I was trying to avoid, which was dehydrated and overcaffeinated because I was focusing on it. So I drank more of it. But as soon as I appreciated it and forgave myself, I don't really drink as much anymore. It's not like a thing anymore. And now it's, it's a, it's a harmonious balance. So anytime that you want to attract something in or attract the outcome, appreciate and forgive, and it will attach from the outcome and it will feel much more balanced in your life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby beautiful soul. I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some value. And if you want to watch a really good video, check out these videos.